Hi, I'm Matt. And I'm Paulo. We're from Trivium, and you're watching... Toasted. Can you guys first of all introduce yourself? Matt. I am the one and only Paulo. Whoa. <laughs> I figured I'd give myself a cool hype. introduction. Yeah, hype it up a bit. Yeah? Do, do you need to be hyped up? Fuck you. Yeah. I, I, like, I want to hire our own hype. But yeah, person. like we're always saying our names all the time. I figured I'd like throw something in there. Yeah, you do it on the stage too, like, I'm uh, I'm Paulo. Yeah, yeah, I I knock Matt away from the mic and like, let me tell you a little about about myself, you know. (laughs) Very, very rap style. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Yeah, we're changing it up. Yeah? You're going to use your own names in songs as well? Maybe. Never know. You guys are on the Slayer Tour for a week now? Something like that. Two two weeks already, yeah. So how are your livers doing? Great. That's a that's a question for Corey. <laughs> he is uh, he drinks a lot, so okay. mine's fine. I, I've only like drank like one or two nights, so I'm doing good. I'm saving it for the end. <laughs> Are you? Uh you could probably grow a grape tree in my stomach right now with the amount of wine I've had. <laughs> I don't know if grapes don't grow on trees, do they? They just grow on vines, but you could grow a tree if you wanted. Yeah. <laughs> Very special kind of wine. Yes. <laughs> yes. Who do you party with mostly on, on this tour? Uh, I've just been sitting in a room by myself, drinking, <laughs> touching it. Uh, just like home, you mean? Yeah, no, the other night I was, uh, I was hanging with the Amon Marth guys. We were drinking wine all night and uh, just talking about gear and metal. And uh, these guys, and Corey's been hanging with Kerry. And they both like the same drinks, vodka. Yeah, nice, vodka and Jaeger. Vodka and Jaeger. That's, a, that's an evil combination. Yeah. I have, I I have like, had many whole like nights this. doing that. When you're drinking vodka or Jaeger, you don't need to combine them. <laughs> yeah. Oh, they do, though. Corey can. Some people can it's, handle it's, it. It's like, it probably looks like what uh, uh, oil and vinegar looks yeah. like when it's mixed together. Uh, Ugh. Oh, they really mixed it in one drink? No, oh, no. no. I bet you could, like, though. In your stomach, that's what oh, it looks God. like. In your ass when it comes out. It looks oh. like fucking blood. <laughs> yeah, does he shit a lot on the, on the tour bus? Oh, no, you're not, allowed to, you're not allowed to shit on the tour bus. That's grounds for expulsion. That's like the number one rule. If you shit on the bus, you're dead. Yeah, because the, the bus can't handle it. Okay. Yeah. And no one has done so ever? Oh, it, fuck no, we would kick their I think ass. it's happened before on, on... I think someone's been drunk and done it before. On our bus? Uh, I think in the past oh, it's happened. I didn't know about that. But we couldn't That's, prove it, and we didn't want to try to prove it because it's disgusting. Always up, <laughs> we always end up on feces whenever we do interviews together. Yeah. We're always talking about <laughs> shit for some reason. It's funny. Well, as long as no one says your music is shit, you're, you're still in the okay. Oh, no, that is too. <laughs> it's all shit. Everything revolves around it, I guess. So. Okay, but this is, the, this is the first tour you're playing uh, stuff from Shogun, right? Yes. Yep. And how is it? How's that going? We actually decided not to play any of the new stuff. We're only playing stuff off Ember to Inferno. <laughs> <laughs> no. No, it's going great. It's been awesome. We're doing like five songs. Yeah. I think if, if it wasn't a strong album or if we didn't feel it was a strong album, we definitely wouldn't be doing five songs, you know. Yeah. Would you release it if it wasn't a strong album? Nor be invited to come back here. We might have to yeah. if we got to the point where we're like, all right, it's just got to put it out, I guess. So, so there's a risk that in the future you're going to put out shitty records? No, no, no. We can't. We can't risk that. Not not in today's age. <laughs> Too many bands, so. Yeah, but your last Shogun is probably your best record. At least I think Definitely, so. Definitely, motherfucker. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Yeah, it, it's we're very happy with it. Yeah, but do you really feel it's, it's the best? or Yes. And why? Uh, because it's the self-proclaimed best-selling album ever of all time. <laughs> <laughs> we worked really, really hard, and um, yeah, it, yeah. it took a long time to do. I mean, we started writing it as we're finishing touring for the last album, and we just really put a lot of effort into it and went out of our way to not record like we've done in the past, record with a new producer, uh, leave Florida, and just change the game up, I guess. Yeah, we're, we wrote for about a year and a half on and off the road and uh, demoed for about six months on and off the road and recorded for about nine weeks, mixed for 45, 47 days, put a lot of time into the record. Yeah. Are you going to do that any, every time now from now on? Yeah, no. like it would be nice to have okay. even maybe a couple extra weeks on the recording end of it, you know, because by the end you're like, you know, eight weeks or seven or eight weeks sounds like a lot of time, but it, it really goes by fast. You always are like, man, I wish I had a couple, like, extra tell people it takes five years off to make a record. Five years <laughs> off. Never Some bands do. Yeah, I'll never compare to, like... We'll never come back. Yeah, we'll never... <laughs> we'll be back you, you could do the Guns N' Roses thing. You know? I don't think that would work. People would be like, who was that band again? <laughs> yeah, you first have to score a really big mega hit, and then... Yeah. Then you can take your time. 
Yeah, well, once we get that uh, the mega hit, we'll we'll talk about it. We'll talk about our 15 year album that we don't do anything for 15 years though. Oh my god! <laughs> Who decides uh, how much time you've got? Is that record label or for what? For for, for recording an album? Uh, we say what we need and we just do it. Nice. Yeah. Okay, and there's no pressure or anything on, on it. Nope. Yeah. It's, it's once you start recording and it's underway, then they're like, all right, we'd like to kind of have it out around this area. But, like, with writing and stuff, they don't ever okay. force you to because, I mean, that wouldn't be good. You know, that's how you make shitty songs. But it's also a budget thing, of course, because you need the time in the studio. Yeah. That's why we did all the demoing, like, in our bedroom in my house with a friend of ours, so it's pretty much free. That's, that's pretty cheap, yeah. Yeah. You just have to pay for the beer and the wine. Pretty much. Yeah, that was it. And it's, and it's like old school, because that's probably how you started out doing it. In your, in your, in your bedroom, playing. It, it always starts <laughs> off in the bedroom, baby. Uh, yeah, that's how it started off, yeah. First demo I recorded in Travis's bedroom. Okay. And now you're still doing it, so it seems like nothing changed. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Yeah, just bedroom, garages, you know, you gotta keep it cheap, man. Keep it cheap. Keep it cheap. Gas is expensive. <laughs> it's just bedroom, garages, and Slayer tours, and that's it. Yeah, yeah pretty much. No, but the studio we were in was like an incredible studio, but all the demoing was done in shitholes. <laughs> so you just pay extra for the studio? Yeah. Yeah. So we can have catering in a nice studio. Yeah, we had a chef. We had a yeah, chef. That just, was amazing. Uh, you know, do it all really low budget beforehand. It's all good, though. At least, at least we can go back home and stuff, so it's not yeah. totally shitty. Have to suck to live at the garage and right there, and yeah. that, that wouldn't be good.